What's up guys, it's John. We're at the Second Amendment shoot in Indiana at Corey and Erica's range. I've got Judd and David from Foss Tech, and uh, we've got an absolute plethora of cool things on the table here. Why don't you guys give us a little rundown of what's in front of us? Okay, well I'll start here and then Judd can take over on that half of the table. Cool. Uh, right here what we have is our prototype bump pup is what we call it, because this is a bull pup configuration for your AK-47 right. that also allows you to bump fire it. This so, thing is absolutely one of the coolest setups I've seen in a long time. So it's like a halo rifle. Yes, yeah, so basically you put your finger on that trigger right there, you pull this trigger here, which then releases the front of the gun, and it will bump fire. When you let off of the trigger in the front, it locks. Wow. Now it's just a regular semi-automatic bullpup. That's awesome. Like I said, that's just a, a prototype that is really not, that's not for sale right now, but maybe someday here in the near future. Just a proof of concept at this point, and that's that's awesome that you guys are thinking that far outside of the box, because most other companies are not, in these times, are not going in the direction of thinking, what else can we do? They're just trying to produce. And I know you guys are, but you're also thinking outside the box. That's cool to see. Um, next tier, these two rifles here, these are, uh, this is uh, an AK-47 and AK-74. These have our bump ski stocks on them. Okay. Um, this is on another bump fire stock. Same concept. Put your finger on the rest. Put this in. Par put it parallel with the stock. Right. Push the front of the gun forward. Bang! It bump fires. Rotate this perpendicular. Now it's locked out. The uh, kind of the cool thing about this stock is, if you've got two guns and you have just one set, of one stock with one extra bar. Right. This is all it takes to go from your 74 or your 47 to your 74. Look at that. So they're modular in design. And the same with going left to right. You, you saw pull out three screws and you convert this to a left hand again wow. as well. Now so what is this made out of? This is made out of 6061 build aluminum. Fantastic. 100% machine. That's, it's definitely, you can tell as soon as you touch these and see them in person, it's definitely higher quality than a lot of other uh, options out there. I'll go ahead. Well, on move, table. Moving on down the table here, we'll, 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 we'll skip over the Origin 12 right now and we'll just finish up on the bump fire stocks. This is our bump fire stock, the Defender 15 for the AR-15 platform. Works in the exact same manner as the bump ski. The only difference being you are now on a tube rather than an adapter bar. Same type of scenario, finger here, your left hand, pull forward, control is ready to fire the harder you push, the faster the gun will, will, will fire until you put too much um, force with your left hand and you overcome the right, recoil of the gun. Right, right. So then, and then it stalls out. The interesting thing too as far as the modularity works the same and even if you want to go from an AK to an AR, the bottom half of this stock, I had to put that back on, pull that off real quick, does remain the same. Look at that. The only difference is the finger rest. So a matter of taking out three screws, putting on a different finger rest, and you can go from AK to AR. That's very cool. That, that amount of modularity is just uh, not common in this in this kind of setup. It's, well, and it makes it nice cool to, to that. you don't have to buy stock after stock right, just, after stock after stock. You have the ability to jump in between weapons and not have uh, a, a lot of money out of pocket. Dig it. I like that a lot. The uh, and that, that pretty much wraps up the the bump fire side of things for us. Okay. The the other thing that we're working on are the Fostech brand through Fostech Arms is the Origin 12 gauge shotgun. Guys, this is one of the coolest shotguns on the market right now. There's nothing else like it. It's uh, <laughs> just you'll see. <laughs> so I'll take you through the shotgun real quick, and uh, we'll sort of start at the back of the gun, and we'll work our way forward. The uh, as you can see, it has a folding stock on it position. The, you have a four charging handle with a last round bolt hold open. If you notice the gun has a nickel teflon finish that allows it to be very slick. Nothing really sticks to it. You don't have to clean it as often. Makes their gun run very well. Um, all your magazines, there's eight round stick mags, there's 20 and 30 round drums. Everything is a direct rock or a direct inline feed. No more rock and lock. Your magazine release is right here. So it's real easy, real quick. Drops out of there nice. Take, Look at that. Take in and out of the gun. I mentioned the last round bolt hold open. The ambidextrous safeties on either side of the weapon. And then probably the most unique feature about this shotgun is the fact that it has a quick pin release system here that you pull out and the front of the gun comes off. So at that point in time, your gas system, your barrel's all in your left hand. So you can go from an 18 inch to states it can have, you can go from a 10 inch barrel in a matter of seconds. 
That gas system also allows us to make this in the next, oh, we're talking in the future, but right, in the next right. probably three years, we'll have the uppers, the mag wells, and the bolts. This can be a 308, a 556, a 762 by 39. That's, that's fantastic. You now have one weapon system right. that can do it all. If you notice on the stock too, the stock is perfectly set above the barrel, so that way when you're on target and you're shooting, it keeps your recoil down, keeps you on target. You have an inf infinite gas system, so that when you're shooting low brass shells, such as Walmart shells, you take it all the way down so you keep all the brass. If you're shooting high brass, you simply take your gas block, so you dump the, 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 the gas out the front of the gun instead of on your shoulder. That's pretty nifty too, your wrench, shotgun shell. This, this has been thought over so well. It just falls together the way any anybody out there with a brain would put this together. It's it's fantastic. You guys have thought of absolutely everything. It's it's it, at some point it's going to end up in a video game. You know that, right? Well, we hope so. Yeah, that's 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 <laughs> awesome. I'm I'm super excited about that. And guys, just about everything on the table. We're going to try to see it shooting and see, show you how it works. And uh, thanks for watching. Okay, that was a bit abrupt. <laughs> What I really wanted to say is thank you to Judd and David for coming out, letting me check out the stocks they've got, letting me shoot the Origin 12, as well as the other weapons they brought out. It was really, really cool. They make some nice quality products. I'm actually super, super excited for the Origin 12. Uh, I think my buddy Mike is going to try to buy one, which is awesome because then I get to shoot it. Ha ha. Definitely go check them out on Facebook. I will put a link in the description so you guys can go do that. And uh, why don't we see some more shooting? Thanks for watching, guys. I got to get me one of these. Ooh!